YouTube, welcome back. The gaming file is alive. I'm um, just about to play some Until Dawn. Um, as I'm recording this, it's late October. Um, I like to get into the horror mood in October. I like to watch horror movies, play horror games. So I've been waiting to play this game. I will be playing this shortly. First, what a crazy summer. Um, in terms of pickups, it wasn't a crazy... I wasn't really searching for games necessarily that much but once in a while I would hop into like a value village Sally Ann those things I'd find a couple things and there was a game swap we did uh, with a couple local guys cool dudes um, that was a while ago now though I can't remember when that was <laughs> like in the spring or something maybe February long time ago anyway so I'm gonna show you guys the pickups I got from that it's been forever uh, so this may be a little bit of a long video. I don't know if you're into long videos, but uh, some people are. Maybe a 20 minute. Let's jump in. The gaming file's back. <laughs> so uh, all the games behind me. It uh, looks kind of nice now. I got a new uh, a new phone too. I smashed my old phone. So uh, that's what I record on. And it looks a little better now I can see. Uh, what am I going to show you guys? Oh my god, I got a bunch of stuff here. First, I'm going to show you a pretty sweet pickup. Um, I ended up posting this on Instagram, actually. If you guys don't follow, uh, hit me up with a follow on Instagram because uh, I usually post stuff on there. It's I, I it's hard to make videos all the time, especially this summer. I was so busy. But um, I, came, I went into Value Village, and there was a stack like this. And when you see a, see a stack of PS1 games... Um, I don't know about you, but I start sweating. <laughs> I get excited. I left the price tags on here. Uh, so first up we have uh, Resident Evil 2 This one's uh, yeah, this one's got the manual and everything so uh, pretty good condition uh, That's awesome to see uh, Next up there's some good games. This guy was into good games. Uh, we have Metal Gear Solid greatest hits uh, This is like my favorite get one of my favorite ps1 games if not me my favorite ps1 game So it's a long weird sentence um, Parasite Eve Two ninety nine. My Parasite Eve copy was missing the manual, so I took it from this one and put it in my copy. I have like a black label copy up there. I will be trading that. Uh, these two games I was the most excited to see, and that is uh, Fear Effect 1 and Fear Effect 2. Now these games are very, very strange. From what I understand, they're kind of like Resident Evil. They control that way, but they're like um, this weird cell shaded style graphics. They're like four disc epic adventures. Um, apparently they're kind of funny too. I don't know. They, they're really, really interesting. So I, they've always been on my list to pick up and I can't believe they had these there. Uh, two so all these games were $2.99 each. Uh, great deal. I When I see that, I, I get so excited. <laughs> so um, this game I'll shout out for a sec. Oh no, these two games I got. I pulled the price tag off this, but um, this place called Chumley's in Ottawa, it's like a DVD video game kind of secondhand shop. Um, Daikatana. This game's supposed to be really, really bad, like almost unplayable um, for the N64. Really hard to duck, too. Yeah, I remember I watched a review online and it's like, you got to do this weird button combination just to duck your character. Uh, it's a first person shooter. Um, anyways, it's supposed to be bad. I picked it up, though, because it was 20 bucks, which is a decent price, and it's a blockbuster exclusive, from what I understand. Um, I got this for 15 bucks at the same place, uh, Okami Den. This is actually like, um, I think this is a prequel to Okami. I could be wrong, but uh, basically this game is like, if you've ever seen Okami on PlayStation, it was ported to the Wii as well on PS2. Really, really cool, like RPG Zelda type game. Um, I'm not sure how this one plays, but it won a bunch of awards at E3 and stuff like that. So it's got to be cool. And uh, look at him, I mean, he's so cute, little wolf. So I, I was always on the hunt for this game. For some reason, it's a little hard to find. Uh, but 15 bucks was a decent price for it, so I picked it up. Um, hookups from... Where did I get these from? Oh, probably... These are the only games I got from uh, EB Games or... Uh, what is it? GameStop in the States? <clears throat> I pull, I'm like very OCD with pulling stickers and the fact that a couple of these still have stickers on over the summer is, is actually like a miracle. Uh, so the, some of these don't. Um, I got uh, Persona 4 Golden, which is apparently a must play for Vita. 
I'm narrowing down all the Vita games I want to get, actually. Uh, there's not too many left that I want or need, so um, Persona 4 Golden was one of them. Like, it's, an, it's a must-play. I haven't played it, but apparently it, it is. Uh, next up is uh, Trigger Happy Havoc. These are, like, um, visual novel-type games. I, I haven't played this per se, so I can't tell you how good it is, but um, I had the second one. I ended up finding that somewhere, and uh, I hadn't started it because I really, really wanted to get the first one to start it first, so uh, thank God I got this. this. These were all at the EB Games. I got a, a special connection there if you're watching. Um, thanks for finding these for me. Uh, and next up is Child of Light, and um, this one is incredibly hard to find. I don't know if it's just here in Canada or in the States too. You guys let me know, but this game is so hard to find. Uh, this is the only physical copy released of this game. Unreal, Ubisoft Montreal, amazing RPG. Like the art style is is unreal. I'm gonna, I gotta, I'm just looking at the sticker too. I gotta peel this off after this video. Uh, what did I pay for this? Seventeen ninety nine. I thought that was a decent price considering it goes for uh, almost twice that. I think. Um, really, really cool. It it plays like a poem. Uh, like the birds speak to you, and it's almost like everything's written in a poem. And like the art style is amazing. It's like a turn based RPG with action elements kind of really 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 cool um pick this up if you can find it or download it it's on uh all the new systems uh what else did i find i'm trying to oh no there was a few more um i got this at the chumleys too sorry one more uh dead or alive extreme beach volleyball 2 <laughs> uh i don't know if you can see the price tag on there 2.99 pretty good price for this um, <laughs> I don't know. I look like such a dirtbag with this, but, uh, <laughs> I got a mustache and playing dead or alive, but it's, um, I don't know. You guys know what this is. It's like a volleyball game, but like you can spy on the girls and it's, I don't know. It's like super creepy, but it's kind of, kind of interesting. Um, this is another game that, uh, my hookup hooked me up with Jurassic Park, the game. I am a huge Jurassic Park fan. Um, the original movie is probably, I've probably watched that more than any movie over and over and over again. It's just so, so good. I mean, in my opinion, I know maybe people disagree with me. I was also a fan of Jurassic World. A lot of people disagree with me about that. Um, I thought it was a very fun movie. Um, but this is a telltale game actually. So it's like, um, you know, button based story kind of, um, type of thing but this game complete this game is hard to find as well um there's not a lot of xbox 360 games that are getting hard to find but this one is um i also keep an eye out for jurassic park operation genesis which is another hard jurassic park game to find on uh, xbox and playstation 2 but uh what am i going to get into next um the value village Valu Village. I was there. Um, I haven't found much there, to be honest. Is this the only thing I found there? Maybe it is. <laughs> Muramasa, the Demon Blade, um, for seven ninety nine, which is, uh, I mean, uh, I hate paying that for games, but this game is uh, worth a lot more than that. I do already own this, and um, I don't know. It's not like me these days to pick up a game I already own. I honestly, sometimes I just leave them there. I don't care anymore. But uh, this could be good trade bait for something I'm looking for, you know? Now, I'm all over the place here. There's another game from Chenley's I picked up. PK Out of the Shadows for $5.99. Um, looks kind of cool. Like comic book style 3D adventure game. Donald Duck. Dope. So I got that. Um, I don't know why they had this at the Valley Village too, but it was just the case. So I asked them if I could have it. Uh, there's nothing in it. Someone probably jacked the disc. But um, an extra GameCube case in great condition is always good to have. Also, uh, Mario Kart 2 is a little bit, you know, people are looking for the case for this sometimes. So that could be good trade bait as well. I remember on Kijiji a while ago, months ago, um, for $5 each, a uh, guy had a couple games I was looking for for the Wii. I'm not, honestly, there's maybe like five games I want. Um, what am I looking for? Fortune Street, which is that weird, like, Square Enix board game, Mario board game thing. 
uh, I don't know. There's like only a couple games I really want. Coup on the Grudge, another like horror game. But these were two games I wanted. A guy had them for five bucks each. Got them off the list. Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. I have the Metroid Prime Trilogy, and this is included in the trilogy. But I'm a uh, huge Metroid fan, so I'm actually looking to track down every um, release of Metroid games. And this is one of them. I wasn't willing to pay a lot because I had the game already in the collection, but uh, so five bucks was cool. Now this is really interesting, uh, Deadly Creatures. Keep your eye out for this game. <laughs> um, this is super weird. You play as like spiders and uh, like scorpions and all this stuff. And it's like an action adventure game where you fight other insects and stuff. And it's, there's a weird, I think, oh yeah, Billy Bob Thornton does some voices in this game. It's super, super strange. Check out some footage online. It's actually, like, um, really, really unique. Uh, this is, like, what the Wii was cool for. Um, games like this. And uh, this is another one that I've been looking for for a long time. So a guy had it for five bucks. Figured I'd scoop it. What else do we have? We're getting through it pretty quick, actually. I thought this video would be crazy long. Um, another pickup I got was this. Metal Gear Solid 3, The Snake Eater. Um, my second favorite Metal Gear Solid game, next to the first, is uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. I can't say this one is because I haven't played the 3D version, but this is basically a port for 3DS of Metal Gear Solid 3 for PlayStation 2. That's a lot of words. Um, but it's supposed to be pretty good. Um, it's got the improved camera angles and stuff, and uh, th the 3D is really cool now with the new XL that actually like tracks your eyes. I'm way more interested in playing games in 3D now. So uh, that was cool. I got this for five bucks. I can't remember what else. I went with Dante too and we went to check out... I bought this and another game off the guy. I may have traded it though. Anyway, so that I kept that. It was five bucks. Um, this is my most recent... Actually, hold on. I'm going to save that just for a sec here. Uh... Here's a couple thrift store pickups. This is this is um, Bible for Missions, it's called. It's like a... Um, it'll be a good segue into the next game, too. Uh, it's a, th like, religious thrift store. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But I think all the proceeds go to, like, um, religious movements, Christian... Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. But anyways, I go in there. I check out sometimes. But they have Destroy All Humans... <laughs> and uh anyways i won't make a, um, a religious pun but anyway so this is 2.99 came complete this game's cool by pandemic actually it's like an open world uh i don't know you're an alien you just destroy humans you go nuts i also picked up this uh shadow of the colossus for 2.99 this game is like classic game you got to pick this up when you see it for three bucks um and this will be a good segue into this. I did a straight up trade on Kijiji. I love doing trades, just like one for one game. <coughs> I can't remember what I traded him, honestly, but uh, it's been so long. But I got this, uh, Bible Adventures by Wisdom Tree. I don't own any Wisdom Tree games, so this is really cool to get another uh, game off the list. And these are so obscure and strange that, you know, I just have to have them. But uh, yeah, my first Wisdom Tree game. So that was a good segue, I thought, into that pickup. <laughs> Um, we're getting down to the wire here. I'll show you guys, um, this was a pretty good grab. I got this this week. Honestly, I haven't even been on Kijiji or looked at it all week. I just decided to, you know, like randomly this week, I'm like, oh, I'll take a peek what's out there. This guy was selling a PS1 with a couple games like Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I can't remember the other ones, but, uh, he had this game, uh, Digimon 3. Hard to find RPG for PlayStation 1. Um, I asked him, I was like, hey man, would you like, do you want to sell this separately? And the guy's like, yeah, sure, 10 bucks, that sound good. I'm like, done. So he came, like, he actually ended up like being like two blocks from my house. I just walked over there. Uh, this is like pristine condition. <laughs> uh, amazing. It's like mint. The disc is perfect, instructions, everything. So I was super happy about that. Um, he ended up texting me later. He's like, dude, I heard that game is worth like 50 bucks. I'm like, I was honest with him. I'm like, man, like if you want me to return the game, like he was two blocks from my house. I'm like, I feel bad. Like if you, and he's like, no, 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 whatever. Just keep it. I guess people were badgering him already saying that like it was worth a lot. I mean, 
maybe a little caught slipping, who knows. But uh, that was a great pickup. That was my most recent. And I'll show you all of this stuff right here I picked up at the swap that we do. We got this like Ottawa retro game swap thing. Uh, so this is all off trade, like no money was spent, which is another, like I said before, amazing. So cool. Uh, Dave, if you're watching, thanks, dude. I, I traded Dave for a couple of these. I can't remember what I gave him now. It's been so long. Um, what is this? Radical Psycho Machine Racing. Um, never played it. Strange, but, uh, a Super Nintendo game I don't have off the list, which is always good to get. Um, we got Izzy's Quest for the Olympic Rings. Um, I think this is a platformer, so I was pretty interested in playing that. And another Super Nintendo game I didn't have, James Bond Jr. So a couple cool ones. Um, better than like the sports game, normal sports games that you grab, you know. So I traded Dave for the... Oh, man, I can't remember, honestly. It's been so... Usually I, I'm really good. Like my memory's good with video game stuff, but it's like I switched it off during the summer. <laughs> Uh, I was not thinking about video games. Um, Phil, what up, Phil, if you're watching? I traded Phil... What did I trade? I can't even remember. Sorry, guys. But I'm just going to show you what I got from Phil, and that is uh, Zelda Link's Awakening DX. DX is cool because it's got, like, the extra dungeon, and this game was in color. So um, I find this version, like, preferable to the original Link's Awakening. And I got a couple uh, GBA games I didn't have, and that's uh, Phalanx. Uh, Phalanx. I don't know how you uh, pronounce that, but uh, that's a cool uh, Super Nintendo port. It's like a shooter. Good one. And then this one I've never heard before, but Mech Platoon. Um, I'm going to give that a shot, see how that goes. I don't know much about it, so I can't say. Uh, the next two games were from Joe. Joe, what up if you're watching? I don't know if these guys watch my channel. I think some of them do once in a while. Um, big one that I always wanted, Wampum. Uh, this game used to be like a $10 game and it jumped like crazy. Like, I don't even know what it is now. Honestly, after the summer, I'm sure it jumped even more, but any like half decent platformer for the NES is just like so desirable. Um, Joe was cool. He kind of hung on to this for me for a while. I was like, dude, I want that. And he like hung on to it for a couple months. So that was really awesome of him to do. Um, again, I forget what I freaking traded the guy. It's been way too long. Anyways, so Wampum. It was a big one off my list. Uh, so that was cool to get. And also I got this from him too, is uh, Wild Arms 3. Um, I own Wild Arms 1 and 2, so slowly tracking the Wild Arms. Uh, this is like a cel-shaded RPG for PS2. Uh, pretty cool. Oh, we got a cat tail, a cat bum. <laughs> so uh, another game. Thanks, Joe. That was cool. Uh, another two things I got from that swap were boxes and um, I love boxes um, you don't have to make a joke about that I'm talking about video game boxes and uh, this is cool uh, two games that I wanted first up was uh, South Park Rally <laughs> uh, this is like Mario Kart South Park style it's not the greatest game uh, Acclaim uh, they didn't make great games I can't say they did but um, I mean old school South Park so cool so it was cool to get the box for that. I don't have the game for it, but it was weird. I wanted the box for it. Um, I don't have the game for this either. Is a Rampage World Tour. And uh, this game's really fun, actually. Um, it's like, if you ever played the Rampage games, you just basically go and destroy buildings. You play as these, like, giant monsters, and super, super fun. So I got the boxes for those. That was awesome. Uh, next up... Oh, yeah, we only have two things left. So it is going to be about a 20-minute video. <laughs> Um, and these came pristine, pristine, pristine. So I traded a guy two Super Nintendo games for these two boxes. And, um, I traded him Donkey Kong Country 2, uh, and Illusion of Gaia. And then he gave me 20 bucks. It was kind of a complicated trade, but like I said, I love not spending money. <laughs> um, and first up we have Pokemon Snap, a complete in box. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this, but th this thing is like, as crispy as a frisbee oh my god every corner is like perfect i love seeing boxes like this um and pokemon snap has always been on my list to get i can't say it's a crazy expensive game or anything but really 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 cool to have another really like unique title on n64 you know that you don't really see very often so i picked up that 
And I also got, and this was the box and manual. Also, I oh, can't get the cats on the boxes. Uh, perfect condition. Uh, and that is Kirby 64. Kirby and the Crystal Shards. I never played this game. This is the one Kirby game I've never played. Honestly, I've played every other single, like, Tilt and Tumble, Kirby Pinball. Like, there's so many pinball, or, um, Dream Course. I love Kirby's Dream Course. Uh, so many crazy Kirby games. I've played them all except for this one for some reason. Uh, apparently this one you can, um, I think you can combine powers. Like, you can ha you can hold two at once or something like that. I think that was the big draw with this one. But again... Uh, from this guy's collection, um, honestly, like, perfect, perfect condition. Really, really cool. So, awesome to get. This was, like, kind of... Usually, I would get this stuff maybe, like, in a month or two months beforehand, but this is all, all summer it's taken me to collect this stuff. I haven't really been collecting that much. I've, I don't know if you saw my blog. I kind of... My life's changed a bit. But things are good. Um, the Gaming Files back. I got a new girl in my life. What up? We out here. Thanks again for watching. Until Dawn's coming up next, Rainy Day Gaming. Peace, guys. Thanks so much for watching and sticking with the channel. Love you, love you, love you. Bye.